While I'm out here, I thought I'd go over a few things. I'll post a picture of my haversack on Facebook and some guys are asking me about it. This is just a typical military style haversack with, of course, some modifications done by myself. I put these snap clips on there, uh, parachute clips is sometimes they're called a lot easier. Uh, quick access, that sort of thing, than what was on there before. Uh, I had to, had to re sew straps back on to modify that. And of course, all the patchwork, uh, I sewed all the patchwork on myself using wax thread that I use for my uh, leather work. And wife and I did the March of Dimes walk this year, and I was a team captain for that. And of course, the Bay of Indiana. Be safe. Wear your helmet. So anyway, uh, they were talking about how I converted the the strap from a backpack to more of a messenger type bag. Wearing, I got this neck pad here, and um, it's not really that thick. You can see it's really really small, but it was really cheap, and it came along with it. And normally, this hook right here, and this hook right here. It slid down would hook together and instead I just sewed them on to the, the neck pad um, still have the hooks on there just because I didn't want to cut the straps but that way they're still adjustable I can still adjust however long I want it and like I said I wear it over over my shoulder as a messenger bag and then I also want to go over like the little survival tin that I have um, you know, these are everywhere. There's like a thousand million of these videos. It's probably the most uh, most thing video made videos on YouTube. But here's mine, and it's a it's a plano box, like a tackle box that I've got black duct tape wrapped around. And um, on the inside, I got a couple band aids just sitting there on top. Got two razor blades taped to the top as well as the um, striker, what do you even call it, for the matches, so you can strike the matches up against. Um, I took out this center section here, so I made this two pockets, one long pocket. Um, I got a, a uh, whetstone sharpening a knife. I got a little knife kit. It's like a little, let me get this open. It's got a knife and tweezer or um, screwdriver, prior, whatever, bottle opener. Just basically have it in there for the knife capabilities. I got a striker, a super glue, um, a uh, trick candle. So it just candles you light and the wind can't blow it out and just light back up. Wonderful thing to have in your pack. But the super glue I use for uh, wounds, super glue them back up. Um, fishing line. Uh, there's like 30 feet of fishing line there. Of course, a ferro rod, real small ferro rod. I only use it uh, in emergencies when I need it. And then I got some snare wire and a safety pin. Here's uh, aspirin, Advil, whatever, for Advil. There's uh, four water tabs, chlorine water tabs. This is one of those Propel uh, flavor for your water. It's uh, supposed to give you like energy, whatever. But I, I use it after I uh, filter the, the water with core tabs. It just kind of makes it taste like raspberry or whatever is inside there. I got it, I just got it all taped up so it's really small. Here's a cotton ball and Vaseline. Uh, a little flashlight. Awesome little flashlight. Love that thing. And then a button compass. Here's one of those wet tenders, uh, broken down. I got a full size one here in my fire starting kit. What fire? I'm sorry, what fire? Uh, fire starting. And it's just uh, something I just broke out and put in a little baggie. Hooks. There's uh, two different sizes in there. There's three different sizes in there, I mean. There's some weights, uh, split shot weights. There's some matches. These are the waterproof matches that uh, are used on the striker. Here's a sewing kit. There's needles inside here. There's a leather needle and then two regular needles. And then there's thread on the outside. There's also thread on the inside. And that's just a piece of uh, 
piece of straw that had been taped around. And then uh, a Hall's lozenge just for taste and something to in case I need something like that, like a piece of candy or whatever, you know. And basically that's my uh, little survival kit. Now the the two things that I don't have in here, which I think is hard to have in here, is shelter and a way to transport water. And I know you can put a condom in there and use that to, you know, like a non-lubricated condom for water transportation, but um, I just haven't put that in there. I don't know, I think if I ever need this kit, I'm also going to have some sort of a water bottle or my U.S. canteen on me, which I have on me right now. So, I might put a, a condom in there in in future, but for right now, I, I have no need for it. Um, I put this super glue in there after I actually had to knead it one time. Uh, I fell real bad while fishing and slid up my hand real bad. As you can see, see that scar right there? Yeah, that that's a real nasty scar that I got. And uh, I was out here all by myself. Used my bandana to uh, stop the bleeding, so I was able to get home. But um, it was either go get stitches or glue it up. And my wife and I decided we're just going to glue it up. And so that's what we did. So since then, I've always carried some super glue with me. Uh, really great for closing up wounds, <clears throat> in my opinion. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get ready to head home. It's almost, it's almost dinner time. So by the time I get out of here, um, head home and get something to eat, and then uh, eat some birthday cake because today is my birthday. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Captain Jeff here signing out, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a text message. See ya.